Hi guys, what's up? It's Alex here. Today we are here with career mode once again, and I actually can't believe it. I put in one of the best laps I'd ever done around Canada in the intermediate conditions to grab pole position by two tenths of a second over Lewis Hamilton. It was a crazy qualifying session. I went out right at the start. I think as the qualifying session went on, the, the rain really came down quite a lot heavier, so... I was lucky in that aspect that um, I got out and on the track straight away, but also sort of a clever strategy from me to get out on the track straight away. Now, I think it was only about a 30% chance of rain in this race, so I'm pretty sure this rain is going to die off halfway through this race or something. Uh, but we'll see, we've been put on to the full wet, and we're going out on to the grid. Hoping for a good result here. Hopefully we can have a good finish, obviously last time Monaco, a pretty interesting race, but unfortunately it didn't get the result I wanted, Mercedes 1-2 on the grid, and uh, so I, f I haven't really had a legitimate pole position, but I've had two on the bounce now at Monaco and Montreal, so let's get into the correct camera view, this will be a very interesting race, 18 laps around Montreal, Canada. The lights are out and away we go, use a bit of curse just to make sure I get off the line a bit better than usual there, Fernando Alonso looking for a manoeuvre on Lewis Hamilton as we go into turn one, take a slightly wider line in, which didn't end up being too good, ooh, just very very tricky conditions here, and we're just going to save a lot of fuel here, we're just going to save as much fuel as possible now we're in the lead, go straight into the lean fuel mixture mode, and uh, yeah, through the slow parts of the track, we'll just use the lean, just because really there isn't a huge amount of opportunity to overtake. But Lewis Hamilton's look for a manoeuvre down the outside. I nearly spun myself into him. I sort of had to avoid Hamilton there as I got into a bit of a slide, but we're back into the lead. Uh, yeah, so back into the lead, Lewis Hamilton right onto the back of us once again. Let's switch it back into standard here. I just want to save every little bit of fuel to try and make sure that we have more fuel when we come out the pit stop, which I'm guessing will happen. These tyres do end up degrading quite a bit, obviously the racing line is not good in the wet conditions, well at least it isn't in real life, not sure about the game, but if you take the wider line in the wet conditions in real life at least, if you don't, you know, hit, if you hit the apex you can normally get thrown into a spin, so avoiding that is normally a good thing and taking the wider line is always a good option especially in those wet conditions so ooh, we made a little mistake there and uh, Hamilton has got a run on us going round the outside he's running sideways on his turn five minutes until the rain stops that's gonna be a very short time between uh, between that short time so what I try to say short time between going from full wet conditions to slightly drying off because I think we can avoid doing like extra stops because I think that AI will switch over to the inters but I'm not sure we pretty much just want to follow what the AI do so we'll make sure that Vettel is leading I think going into uh, going into the, the pits or something I don't know we'll see what happens but I want to make sure that we have the, the you know, gone to the right tyres. Just save that bit of extra fuel there as we run a bit deep into the. See, that's the wider line, it's got so much more grip, even though I made a mistake. Going around the outside does help me out a little bit there, which is really, really good. Just to get that extra momentum off the corner. And as we've got the lead, we might as well just put it into lean fuel mixture here. I don't want to take the risks, but you know, I've got to try and keep it in this top position. I can't be doing too slow a lap times. Right, on to lap three now. DRS is, of course, disabled because of these wet conditions. Button putting in the fastest lap of the race. Now, I'm not going for fast lap of the race. I will, uh, hopefully, at some point in this race, go for the fastest lap of the race but at the current time I don't think I'm going to be able to challenge for the fastest lap we just want to run in lean fuel mixture as much as possible so we can have the extra fuel fuel, well, that was a bit lucky there uh, made a bit of a mistake and put Vettel right onto the back of us Hamilton looking for a new down the inside 
But obviously we are running in that lean fuel mixture, we're going to be saving that extra amount. It shows quite a lot of speed difference between uh, slow and... No, oh, what's it called? What am I talking about? I didn't mean to do that, but... Uh, there's quite a lot of difference between rich, standard and lean fuel mixture. You can sort of see it quite a bit in this game. Uh, fuel mixture is looking alright. We look there, yeah. Two plus two laps. Right, I don't think he's going to have to run there. He's got a bad run through there. So, the rain should be stopping very shortly here. Um, we're doing a pretty good job, I think, here of keeping it in the lead. I know it's obviously not amazing, but my driving could be a lot better. But I think we're doing all right here today. Hopefully, we can go on to achieve some good points you know points positions here some people already in the pit lane somebody already in the pit lane it's a bit early I think to put on different tires but who knows got to tell you the conditions are starting to ease out a bit here Let's, let's just have a quick look here. I was just checking if anybody went on to Winters because, you know, quite a lot of people have stopped there, but they've just put on the wet tyres again, so there doesn't seem much point of that. It's been a mistake or some sort of crash back there. Let's take the wide line through here and see what we can do. See, look, the exit off the corner is just so much better. What happened to Vettel there? I don't know, I wasn't really paying much attention. Now, are these guys going to roll into pit lane? I don't know. Whoa, Hamilton, what's he doing? Hamilton just... I was sort of looking behind, so I wasn't really paying too much attention with my braking, but I think I braked a little bit too early, and Hamilton ran right to the back of me, so that was a bit unfortunate, but... So far, we're not doing too badly. It looks like Vettel... Oh, so that's Mark Webber's up into second position there. Exciting stuff for Mark Webber as he now promotes himself up to second. As this is exactly what he needs actually to try and catch Vettel in the standings is to be putting in a, a wonderful performance for the Red Bull. I think Mercedes, my team, obviously have pulled up a little bit of an, of, you know, took away sorry, some of their advantage that Red Bull have had. So I think Mercedes are much more competitive than they were at the start of the year. I remember Red Bull dominating most of the races. Oh! Oh, God! Oh. Well, I really don't like getting involved in all these accidents, you know. I just wish I had the flashback to do stuff like that. So I might, I might start putting one flashback on to stop things like that happening. As, obviously that wasn't intended, but sometimes, you know, sometimes stuff like that does happen, unfortunately. Now, I want to see... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh. I was paying too much attention to where Alonso was. So I was trying to see if Alonso was going in the pit lane. So I so see what I mean by the outside line there. Managing to go around the outside. Better going for the fastest. Surely some people are coming in. This has been a bit of a sloppy race in terms of racing, but overall, I think it's been quite an interesting race. Obviously, the wet conditions always throw up a surprise. I'm going to check the race director when we get onto the straight here. Uh, has anybody switched onto Inters? No. Daniel Ricciardo, well, he's pitted like three times in six laps, or well, five laps actually. Because obviously, we've only completed five laps, so he's, he's pitted nearly every lap. I don't know what he's doing, but. Hamilton right up behind me now, looking for a manoeuvre. Let's take this wide line through the corner again. Much better. Let's 
to Daniel Ricardo setting fastest laps now. Nobody's coming to the pits. Interesting, interesting. Daniel Ricardo must be nearly a lap down after his excursions which have put him way down the order. I don't want to be first person to blink but I think we could. I think we could come into Frinters any time now. This is the sort of conditions it was in qualifying so I think I could do it but it's just whether I can predict this right because of one lap too early I could be losing a lot of time one lap too late I think I could be losing a lot of time as well so Ricardo is going to be setting some very blisteringly fast lap times and uh, he won't really challenge anyone else I don't think because he's just done that too many extra pit stops but let's have a quick look here as we're on the straight race director Nobody's on Inters. Suttles pitted twice as well, which leaves people like Bianchi there up in 11th. Charles Peake in 9th. It's crazy stuff. Massa's the top person that has pitted. So, with Bianchi up there nearing the points, very interesting strategy calls here. See, now it's starting to get a little bit heavier again. This is just crazy. I can't really predict what tyres to be on here. I think at the moment you'd have to go back onto wet. Then I am sliding about all over the place. So it's just it's just a crazy race so far, and I just cannot predict what I want to do. Because I could really... T oh, made, made a bit of a mistake here, but I've sort of got this race under control. I mean, I could definitely push more if I needed to. Yeah. Right, we're picking this lap then. He's came on the radio, told us, yep, Inters will be the best tyre. And we've got to have, keep our fingers crossed that he is correct here. We're going to have to go 10 laps on those tyres. So McLaren up there in like fifth position. Sometimes this game is a bit confusing in terms of that, but tires, inters, right. Let's keep our fingers crossed that. Yep, they're all coming in as well now. Right, this is going to be what make or breaks this race. Into the pit lane we go. Put on those inters. Front wing, what are you doing? I don't even need a front wing. I didn't have any damage. Oh, damn, I thought I was going to get held up in the pit lane there. Hamilton really did get held up. Gutierrez in third. Ooh, nearly ran over the white line. I've turned the auto pit lane off as well, if you haven't noticed. Right, now we can put into full revs. Yeah, this, this seems about right. I think I, was put, put, I, think I put on the right tyres. Vettel put on those these green tyres as well. Blimey, look how fast he is! A little Sebastian Vettel. Well, little Sebastian Vettel, that sounds a bit stupid, but um, Mr. Sebastian Vettel, I should say. Alright, second, sorry guys, my computer, Norton, has popped up and it's slowing down my whole computer. Alright, there we go. Um, sorry about that. Hit the corner perfectly there. I don't know why they changed my front wing, was it me? I swear I didn't have any damage, but somehow they, for some reason, sorry, I should say, they put me onto the, um, put me into 
what am I trying to say? They gave me another front wing. Look at this, how why is he so fast in a straight line? Oh my god, it's so annoying. People a couple of people said stop complaining about their straight line speed, but I think you guys would be quite annoyed too if the AI are just super fast in a straight line. But you know whatever, it doesn't really matter to be honest. I'm surprised they queued Hamilton, I suppose they guessed it would be advantageous to uh What? Are you serious game? You put in the fastest lap, he was in the pit lane at the start of the lap, that is just so unlegit. Yeah, I know I know it cuts out turn one here, but he was going like sixty you know, you come out of the pit lane at like sixty miles an hour. There's no way that he could gain like four seconds on his fastest time. Or over my time, sorry, I should say. Maybe he could, I don't know, but it seems a bit weird to me. Whoops, mistake. I can see a car on my mini map. Wouldn't it be crazy if we something like a safety car? I mean, so far we haven't really um, had a huge amount of that sort of stuff, but I don't think I've had a safety car in career mode. I don't think I have. I think it's only been in online races I've had the safety car out so far, which is a bit disappointing. I mean, I really would have liked to have it more out in career mode. Look how fast he is! Oh no, he's maybe missed my breaking points. No. He is damn fast in a straight line. So, presumably, Hamilton's going to put in even faster that time now. Yep. Yeah. Wow, three seconds faster than me. What? In qualifying, he was doing the same pace as me. Uh, even if he was slower than me in these conditions, so suddenly in race trim his Mercedes seems to be a hell of a lot faster. I know I'm not too good in terms of time management and stuff, but we're at the start of a stint, surely. Right, they're trying to say fuel Vettel down into fourth after a mistake from himself. Whoops, bit of a corner cut there. Now down the long straight here, we'll burn off as much fuel as possible. And I don't know why we're running down the wet part of the track, but whatever. I'm just scared to turn into that corner because I know it can definitely bite you on the exit of that if you make a mistake. See, I, I just can't, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere near Hamilton's time, just cause I, don't, I don't know why, to be perfectly honest, but for some reason, I don't know whether that's a glitch or something, but he got the fastest lap coming out of the pits, which is a bit weird to me, but okay. And in, he was following a slower car that whole lap, that was a bit of a corner cut, I'm sorry. Oh, they were nine tenths through the first sector, okay. That's maybe where we were losing a lot of our time. Right, I think we can probably knock another second off that time. 21 5 is probably going to be our aim here. And I know we want, maybe we can't. Right, this is going to be interesting to see if we can get to the finish here. It is starting to clear up, I, I reckon we could probably switch over to the dry tyres for the end of this race, but it's just whether it's worth it. Normally it is worth putting in. Whoops. I just can't get anything right in this race, everything I'm doing is wrong. Up to the finish line, 21.5, oh, 21.6. We need one more tenth on this lap, one more tenth. If we can get another tenth, I'll be happy. Oh, blimey, Hamilton, what are you on? <gasps> Purple to protect the one.
so a little bit of curse for that coming out of the hairpin, but purple through sector one, I did not expect that. Oh, I just can't, I'm sorry guys, I just can't seem to keep it on the track. I have to keep turning in way too early and just cutting the corners, which is stupid. Uh, conditions are definitely drying up, there's no way I gained 1.2 seconds over one lap. Ooh, I reckon we're going to be into dry conditions before the end of this race. There's a pretty dry line here, I'm not kicking up really any spray unless I go out the vert. Oh no, I've really slow through there. I reckon this lap time could be under a 1 minute 20. No, it's not going to be because I messed up that final sector a lot. I lost uh, nearly a second in that final sector, I think. It's actually, this is sort of perfect because the conditions are drying up as my tyres wear out. So by the end of the stint, I'll have pretty much dry tyres because all obviously of the rubber would have worn down. So hopefully this means that. Oh, not a very good first sector there. Is it worth putting on new inters or coming in for dries? This is going to be the making or breaking point. I'll save fuel too then. If if uh, Raikkonen has a saving, I'll, I'll save him as well. Coming up to lap some people. Oh, it's been a front wing. It's Sebastian Vettel. He's lost his front wing. He's lost his front wing. Sebastian Vettel has knocked himself out of a podium finish. So he'll be right down with wherever Mark Webber is. Mark Webber is... Did I go past him? Oh, Webber's down there in 10th on the Inters. Can Mark Webber actually get back past Sebastian Vettel in this championship race? This is going to be great, great stuff to see where Sebastian Vettel comes out. And obviously that was nothing of my doing either, I didn't... Oh, he's gone, yep, he's gone into pit lane. Lucky for him it was only a straight line, but we gained three attempts on our fastest lap here. This race is coming down to a nail-biting conclusion. We're going to come across the line here with three laps to go. Maybe we won't hit the time where we want to hit those intermediate... Uh, hit those intermediate tyres? That doesn't make any sense. To take off those intermediate tyres. Will we... I don't know, the surface is still shiny, but the track is most certainly dry. Well, let's just say drier than it has been. I reckon Sebastian Vettel's out of the pit lane. Let's go and see where he is. Oh, he's out. He's out. Ahead of Mark Webber. If Mark Webber had been able to go for the whole length from those inters that he pitted, actually, he might not have been able to pit. Because this has been an absolutely crazy way with tyre wear and all that sort of stuff. It's been great. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. There is Sebastian Vettel's front wing. Wouldn't it be great if you could get punctures off running over people's front wings? It'd be really nice to just have that extra bit of realism into the game. But I think I've drove pretty well. I mean, I haven't been the fastest. I mean, I haven't exactly set the world alight, but I've done all right. I'm not going to jinx myself, but I don't. I think I've done all right. Nothing special, but I've done all right. My aim here is to get into under a 1 minute 20 lap time. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we will be able to do it. We do it curves through there. It's that last sector where we can get it right, but... When we get that corner right, you know, when you get that... You know, when you get this track right, it feels really good because it, it's quite a must, you know a track that you can master. But Sebastian Vettel now on those brand new Inters will be completely destroying everyone's lap time. So that's good for him, he might be able to gain a couple of positions but he's definitely lost points in the championship of where he could have been. We've got a group of four. So a little bit of curves just for the run up out of the hairpin. Uh, just that wheel spin, that wheel spin is unfortunate. Sebastian Vettel might even catch us if he goes at that rate of knots. And that was coming out of the pit lane as well, I think. 
Oh, it's a bit too scaredy cat through there. And that's not really a good lap time. Just throw it into there. Bit of opposite lot. Sebastian Vettel was going to do like a 1 15, 16, I think. When he comes across the line any second now, it's going to be absolutely crazy. Oops. Ooh, I was lucky there. I just got it turned in enough to not lose a bit of the front wing. Right, I'm really, really keen to get this um, that time under a 1 minute 20 because it's sort of going to be a bit frustrating if I win this race, but don't set a half competent lap time here. We shouldn't encounter any traffic. Is that another Red Bull wing or is that the same one? I don't know, but whatever. Not long to go now to claim our first win with Mercedes. We obviously did some good results with Force India grabbing a win. I can't remember. I think we got more than one. Um, but we grabbed a couple of wins there for Force India. Can we do the same for Mercedes Benz? Much better through there. This could be our lap time here. This could be the time to beat the 1 minute 20. It is by over half a second exactly what I wanted. If I've been driving like that the whole race, I reckon we could have even got a bit, a big, we could, could have got a quite a good lead here, but it doesn't matter too much. A 1.5 second advantage isn't too bad. I have sort of been very, well, let's just say I've been extending the track quite a lot. I've been using all the curves. Like there, for example. But Sebastian Vale didn't put in on the first lap there, so our lap time will be quite representable in terms of the rest of the field. I'm pretty happy, I'm not going to lie, with our time here today. I think it's been a pretty interesting race. We've suddenly set the last couple of laps on fire. We've done a pretty good job. We switched to the Inters at the right time. Um, Hamilton obviously having to queue through the pits, but... Oh, there's even marbles in the exit of the corner there. They've just suddenly appeared out of nowhere. But can we possibly here go for an even faster lap time? We'll see as we run through the... Oh, that this is definitely dry conditions all of a sudden here. Um, very miraculously changed out of nowhere. Let's be very robust over the curves and the run to the line can we get a slightly faster lap time I don't know we're gonna no we're not by three tenths of a second my first win with the Mercedes I'm pretty damn happy with that hopefully you guys enjoyed this one I think that might have been uh, what I was saying for the last couple of races winning the race by the smallest margin possible Charles Peak scores a point for Caterham what a great race for him Jules Bianchi only a couple of attempts of uh, Bottas sorry, as well. De Resta ending up in 22nd with Mark Webber down in 21st after he made contact with my car, unfortunately. Let's move on to the championship standings. We're up into fourth now, now only uh, 11 points behind Lewis Hamilton. And Mark Webber is only, uh, only I should say, th uh, 36 points behind. It's quite a big difference there. But where we are in the constructors, or a second. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's Blacks, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.